let's look first at relationship number one, our relationship to junk, our relationship to sin. It's found in the context. Jesus and John, both their disciples, are baptizing. Well, where does that tie into a relationship with junk? Understand that in their day, baptism was all about purification. It was a symbol to represent repentance. Friends, you and I, at the very beginning and on the foundation of our faith and our understanding of what it is to walk with Jesus, to be a Christian, we've got to have a right relationship with sin. That right relationship with sin is repentance. We've got to be in right relationship with our junk. We've got to come and say, Lord Jesus, please forgive me. I don't just offer you remorse, I'm sorry for what I did, but I bring to you by your grace repentance that says I turn from who I was, I turn away from what I did, and I come to you. Remorse may turn, repentance comes. Repentance comes to Christ. Relationship number one, right here. Jesus and John and their disciples are baptizing, which is the demonstration and the symbol of repentance in getting ready to come to Christ. Let's move into the conversations now in verse 25 through 30. You're going to see these conversations that begin with religion. They turn to rejection and ultimately we'll see a reaction from John the Baptist. Verse 25. Now a discussion arose between some of John's disciples and a Jew over purification. Here comes relationship number two. John's disciples and this Jew, we don't know anything else about them, except that they're having a conversation about purification. In essence, this is probably what was happening. A Jew would have no problem with people uh, bringing baptism to a Gentile, say, okay, yeah, you got to clean them up to come in amongst us. And a Jew would even go through ceremonial cleaning before they would come to the temple because they, show, they see that as reverence to God. But you don't baptize a Jew. Don't you know who we are? We don't need to be treated like those dirty Gentiles. Friends, you and I need to understand that there's nothing about our heritage, nothing about our church attendance, nothing about whether or not your daddy was a preacher, nothing to do with whether or not you're a preacher. It has everything to do with a relationship by grace through faith with Jesus the Christ. Note this. There's an argument taking place over religion. John's disciples are arguing with this Jew who's arguing over what's happening, supposedly, for the glory of God. Here's the point that I would tell you here. Yours and my relationship when it comes to religion... We need to make sure that we're always putting relationship and God honoring first. Toby Mack has written a song that says, Speak Life. I want to share it with you because if you and I ever find ourselves in a place of disagreement, don't get to the point where your tongue gets toxic. You're not speaking on behalf of Christ when you speak with a toxic tongue. 